Hello YouTube, I'm going to do some herters today. Right, I'll explain what the herter is. Herter is a nice little fill, um, it gets its name probably because of the sound it makes when you're playing it. Now, essentially it's a three note pattern, okay? So it's the equivalent to going right, right, left. But what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, we're going to double that first note, so we end up going right, right, left. And we repeat that uh, a few times, four times. Uh, to create our fill, okay? So we're going to go right, right, left. Okay, if I speed this up. Speed up a bit more. Okay, and then uh, this has been used quite a few times by some big famous drummers. Uh, notably, Dave Grohl used this one in uh, the Queens of a Stone Age song. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, no one knows. Um, and it sort of used it. He, he was playing with a sort of swung rhythm throughout the chorus, and he sort of fitted it in, moving it around the tom. So I'll give you an example of that. So let's go. Okay. Um, uh, Travis Barker's used it a few times in some of his drum fills. What he likes to do, he comes off the toms quite a bit, which I, I think sounds quite nice. But what we'd, what he'd be doing there, that's using it more in like a straight rhythm, okay? So with that, when you're sort of turning into 16th notes, rather than using triplets, because it's in groups of threes, we're going um, to we're gonna put an extra four 16th notes at the end. So we end up going... Okay? So, in fact, you used it at the beginning of one of the, uh, one of the Blink 102's tracks, uh, Violence, we're going to check that out, it's on the self titled album. Okay, so I'll give you a little example of that. Okay, another way it can be used is oh, yeah, I was going to explain how it comes off the toms. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, now is show you a very similar feel to what I just did there. Instead of playing everything just on the snare, I'm going to play the first two notes. Off of the high tom, so you get this. A bit faster. Bring it off of here as well. Okay, you can sort of mix it up, so you're sort of doing, uh, you're keeping it completely on one particular drum, or you're moving it off, so you go. And then we can put our 16th notes at the end if we're playing it straight, so. John Bonham uses this one in Stairway to Heaven, but what he does in that one is he replaces um, the last note, which would be our left hand, uh, with a kick drum, and he spreads it out over all the drums. So he goes right, left, right, and then he does a kick, so you get this. Okay, so instead of playing the left hand note at the end, which would sound quite nice if we were playing like this, you can play it up and feel like that. Place that last note with the kick drum, giving us. Okay, so let's try that at a bit of speed. Okay, now in Stairway to Heaven, he actually finishes it off with a slightly different way. He doesn't do the four sixteenth notes at the end, he does a. Uh, with it. Something like that, it's like a little triplet blowing into this, so you go, um... Okay, if you want to check out that, it's during the guitar solo uh, in Stereo Tevin towards the end. Okay, um, you can also, you know, just experiment with those rhythms, just a few examples of how they're used. You can play it off the hi-hat, you can bring it in off the drums, you can mix it up so you're playing, you know, solidly on one drum and then bring it off the toms then including a the foot and then you can um, you can experiment with those last few notes at the end especially if you're using like a sort of 16th note rhythm to it okay so i'll leave you with a couple of examples and then i'll let you crack on all right nice one you here we go